Hello everybody, this is Etho, and welcome back guys. We are playing some more TFC again today. Oh man, I just saw something very sad by the way. I'm going to show you. Don't cry though. I forbid you from crying, but look at this. <laughs> Last episode we died, right? And I think it actually resets all your skills. For some reason, uh, I was under the impression it doesn't. Like, we were making some good progress here on, on our skills. And wah, 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 we're back down on Novus on pretty much everything here. Kind of sad about that, I'm not going to lie. Skills make kills, but kills do not make skills, as it turns out. Uh, but yeah, to begin with today, we're going to be doing a little bit of uh, blacksmithing. we got to get some new tools here. I'm going to upgrade to iron, iron picks and axes and that kind of stuff. Uh, I think we can actually go ahead and try that. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Wait a minute. Maybe we won't be making iron tools. How how do you make iron tools, guys? I thought there should be some plans here. Um, but there are not plans. Wrought iron. Oh no, we need an iron anvil. Oh, I totally forgot about that. Okay, we're not making tools. Oh, snap, really? I always forget about that. Yeah, we don't have enough iron to do that. Oh, now I'm sad. <laughs> All right, well, I'll try to... Uh, or do we? It's going to be, like, just barely enough if we do. Like, we have... We need seven of these. And we got two more... Or one more here. Oh man. Like, my sword broke and everything. I need a new sword for sure. Because uh, I can't really do anything at night time now until I get better weapons. This is eight. Eight ingots worth, that's four. And then we have two. So we can make exactly an iron anvil here, but then we don't have enough iron to make the tools. <laughs> Darn it! Alright, well I guess we'll, we'll do that. Uh, let's try out this crucible we made last time too. See if I remember how to do this. So you can melt down the ores you get in this. Yeah. So it's filling up with copper. Over here is our gauge of how much is inside. Every hundred is one ingot worth. And this is our temperature gauge. Every time it melts it, the temperature drops. And I think, if I remember right, you just take one of these casts and then it will uh, fill it, right? I hope. I don't remember anything about this game. <laughs> it's not working. How do you get the stuff out of here then? Wait, maybe we don't want to be doing this. Oh, it is going. Okay, yeah. It just has to get hot enough to do it, I guess. And uh, it can't do that when it's melting them down. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, okay, guys. So I made another iron bloom here. Another eight ingots worth of, of iron. For some reason, I was short. <laughs> we only had five worth. So I lost three ingots somewhere. I'm not sure how that happened. But, uh... Oh, yeah. Okay. I want to try something here. I'm trying to make these lantern cores, but I'm having a real, tr real trouble doing this. So we got to hit, punch, hit. All right, hit, punch, hit. There we go. We got it. So you got to line up the green and the red arrow there, and follow the last three steps uh, to make it work. So the double sheet converts into a lantern core. Then we take these, and I think we got to put them in a barrel of. Uh, of alcohol. Oh, oh, I did not want to put that in there. It's trying to put in the... <laughs> ah! Alright, let's forget about that. That's not happening now. If you put it in a barrel of water, it instantly cools it. And I was trying to weld the two together. So that was a big fail. Uh, let's try this. So we have our barrel of sake. No! Oh no. Is that not one of the accepted ones? Cider, vodka, no, sake is. Maybe it needs to be a full barrel then, because this one's not quite full. Or we got to seal it? We'll try seal it, see if that does it, but I think we might need a full barrel then, if that's the case. All right, but anyways, that'll make these cores, and then we take these and finish it off as a lantern like this. So glass, sticks, and we're going to have to get some wool from those sheep we found. 
and then we'll have permanent light sources instead of these torches that keep burning out. Okay, the iron is ready to go here, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so we gotta take it, refine it, just hit, hit, hit to finish it off here. So hit, 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 hit. They lined up, good. And I totally forgot, but we can actually just melt these in the... No. <laughs> we gotta split it first. So we gotta split it. I wasn't sure. I thought we could just do the whole thing, but I guess not. Whoa! Okay, there we go. So it breaks it all into these one ingot worth uh, things. Then we gotta get this hot enough to melt it. Let the temperature go up. And should melt. Okay, and then we can just uh, put our cast in. So much easier than doing this all on the anvil, though. Like, unbelievably better. Yeah, so then it fills it up. Uh-huh. And I'll be able to finish making our iron anvil here, and we'll have a few left over for tools. Alright, that's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Awesome. Hit, punch, hit. Beautiful. Let's cool these off in the water. And good. Now we can make our anvil. Opposite way. <laughs> Don't know why I thought it was that way. All right. Woohoo! And take this stuff out, replace it. So now we can take our iron here and we should be able to make iron tools. Now that we have an iron anvil, right? Yeah, here's our plans. Waypoint compass needle. What is that for? I don't even know. Okay, let's make a pick here. So we gotta do a punch, bend, shrink. Oh, I was actually really close there for the first try. Okay, punch, bend, shrink. Punch, bend, shrink. <laughs> this is so difficult. Or that's a draw. I guess not a shrink. Oh, that was right on! Come on! Punch. Oh! Smithing bonus plus 1.1%. So, yeah. I think the higher your skill is, the longer the deer, or the, the higher the durability will be on the tool. I'm pretty sure. Oh, man. Smithing bonus. Oh, it says too. That's cool. Awesome. So we were able to make a few iron tools here. Anyway, we got a sword, a pick, axe, and a prospector pick. I was just comparing them too. Like the default iron sword has 240 attack damage. The one we made has 243. So because of the smithing bonus, uh, it seems to have better stats, which is very cool. I like that feature a lot. Everything is ready here again. <laughs> Things are growing growing so quickly. I don't even feel like harvesting them. Uh, but maybe we should. Uh, we're going to do the, the copper lantern cores, though. Or try to get them ready here. Whoa! Oh, that's cool. The barrels actually float on the water. <laughs> even though they're full of water. Alright. Yeah, just filled them up with water. Good. Uh, so we got to put this in here to make the rye whiskey hopefully that does a trick did I duplicate my barrels because we had four I definitely duplicated something here <laughs> what or are these uh, messed up yeah I can't pick these up okay good the I guess that's a better glitch than uh, duplication uh, also we got so much jute here we should go ahead and process this as well That'll make the jute fiber. We can make some more rope. And do I have any more? F uh, what's it called? Flour. <laughs> do I have any more flour? Rice grain. Uh, I just have the grain. Oh, wait. Rice flour. I wonder if we can do like a full barrel of uh, sake with just 33 ounces or if you need like 160 Guess we'll try it out and see what happens. Uh, today we're going to need some more uh, charcoal as well, so i got to chop down some trees here. Let's try out our tree farm. 
uh, now that we've got a few grown here and see if this actually works or not. So it should chop down all of the trees, ideally. <laughs> all the connected ones. So it took out these four. Yeah, that makes sense because uh, this one wasn't grown. So it couldn't jump over to this one. That's kind of cool. But for some reason, they're not really growing when they're spaced this close together. I think they might need to be spread out a bit more. Like, a few of these grew and then the rest of them aren't growing. I don't know why. Yep, I'm really liking this new iron axe. It seems to be quite a bit faster. All right, so we got a mound of firewood ready here. We're going to make some charcoal. Let's get it lit. And any moment now, one day. There we go. <laughs> that took a long time. Aha. So it's been a while here, and uh, this flower, this, uh, yeah, it is flower, is not converting into whiskey. So turns out I'm pretty sure we do need a full stack of stuff here. Let's try it now. So it's 160 ounces. Uh, it still doesn't say whiskey. We want it to say whiskey as the output. Maybe I gotta cut the decay off of this. Let's make a knife real quick here. It's very, very intelligent flower here. It knows I'm trying to cheat the system. <laughs> it's not letting me. All right, cut the decay off. Good, stack it. Oh, okay, so no decay, full stack. Let's try this now. Ah, uh, it still doesn't say. Whiskey. I'm very worried about this. Ah, okay. Maybe we had too much in there after all. So I split it in half. And now it's accepting it. 79 ounces. Yeah, I think 160 is too much. Now it says rye whiskey. Aha. Oh, and our jute finished. Awesome. What about this one? This one's going to finish any minute here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we just witnessed it. Awesome. All right, and 12 ropes. Oh, snap. So with these, we can finally go get those sheep, and we'll bring them back home. I set up a little pen for them uh, in the mountain already. All right, guys, so let's see if we can do this. We got the rope. Uh, we got to try bring these guys back home. Okay, so we can dual attach. <laughs> I'm hooked to the horse and the sheep. Can we get this uh, gray one too? This is the female. I think she ran away. Oh, there it is. Okay. I'm just going to bring the two, I think. Because it's going to be pretty challenging. <laughs> Moving them through the woods and stuff. Uh, I'm going to have to be very careful. I keep an eye on them here. So on the way, there's tons of ravines, there's lava pits, and there's the, all those bears. Um, I saw three on the way here, so I'm very, very worried about returning home. Oh, and there's fall damage too. I think they just took fall damage. Alright, but if, if all goes well, we should be able to get these guys back. It's working! It's working pretty good here. I just can't go too fast. Bear! 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 Bear, get away! <laughs> oh, man! I didn't even know there was one over here. That's like the fourth one I found now. <laughs> yeah, he'll eat the sheep. He'll eat me and the sheep. Come on, guys. You can do it! You can do it! Just jump up that hill! There we go. All right, so it's nighttime now, and it's also raining, and I'm having the hardest time spotting anything. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. So I might have to bail and just leave these guys for the night, because I can't move very quickly with them. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, this is getting bad now. <laughs> I'm going to try to find those ropes I just lost. Nope, maybe not. No, 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 no. Oh, he almost blew up on the sheep. 
Oh, we made it back. Safe and sound. Okay, just don't die going up these stairs. <laughs> it's the last thing you gotta do. Okay, you guys are gonna love it here. We got grass, we got trees, there's some pigs that live here. And I have a beautiful home prepared for you, a nice little room. <laughs> it's very uh, cozy. You should love you should love it. Alright, don't push don't push me when I'm doing the axe. Oh It's all good. Uh maybe we should detach while I do this. <laughs> Alright, just trying to open it up without killing anybody. And good, good, good. Okay, I'm gonna detach from the horse. Let's see, can I push you guys in? You'll want to go in there. It's it's very nice. It it gets bigger once you're inside. I promise. Okay, you t you come over. Come over. All right. There we go. <laughs> and let's close it up quickly. Man, that was so tough. It is so hard moving animals in this game, I tell you. All right. But we did it. We got it done. We can do it. We can do it here. So draw, draw. Nope. Let's try it again. Draw, draw, hit. We got it. I can't believe we actually got it finally. <laughs> so that's our second blade. To make shears for the sheep, you need two of these iron knife blades. And then you combine them together in the anvil here. Alright. They are just warming up right now. Uh, then we can start getting wool and stuff. I made a spindle here for making the wool yarn. We need that to do the lanterns. Uh, and I'm pretty sure our alcohol is probably ready for that now. Okay, let's see if we can do it now. So let's throw these both in. Does it give us a plans? Oh, it does give us plans. And it's an easy one too. We just gotta hit the hammer three times. Got it! Alright. Uh, let's, let's go try out the shears here on our new friends. No, you gotta befriend them first. <laughs> no, <laughs> really? Oh, it's gonna take a long time. So yeah, you see the hearts. So we gotta get that up to thirty percent before we can start getting wool. Ah, all right. Well, it's a good start. Maybe we'll make a little tool rack beside the, the pen here. Um, should probably do something about the wall. But we'll put our shears up over here. Nice and close. Alright, did these finish yet? It takes three days in game. They did not. <laughs> no. Oh, this one did. This one did. Okay, we can try it. We can try it. So this is f totally full. Ten buckets of, of whiskey. Darn it. Doesn't work. <laughs> what? Okay, how do you do it then? Because... Oh, man. I've tried this so many different ways now. Lantern? Really? I thought for sure it was going to work here. So yeah, we make the lantern core... Filled rum. What am I doing wrong, guys? I don't even know. This just shows you how to make the rum. It doesn't show you how to fill the core. Hmm. Can I click on the barrel with it? Oh! Hello! Oh, and it doesn't even use that much. Two buckets worth. <laughs> Was it really that easy? Oh, come on. I went through so much trouble, and we could have done it, like, long ago here. Alright, but yeah, we can't actually do anything with these, because those sheep want to be our friends before they'll give us any wool, and we need wool yarn. Uh, although, I think I might have one sheep skin. I found, uh, I think a bear killed a sheep at one point, and I picked it up. Yeah, here it is. I found it. Small sheepskin. So we might be able to get some wool off of this. 
Say, yeah, we cut it with a knife, and it'll give us one piece. Awesome. Okay, so we can now do something with this. Let's uh, let's take it over here. If we use our spindle on the wool, it gives us eight wool yarn. Okay, that's enough to make a couple lanterns anyway. Do it like this. And does it work? It does work. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> so much work to do this, but it's a permanent light source, so it's going to be really useful. Uh, we're going to want a bunch of these. The copper ones are the cheapest ones, but I don't think they're going to look the best. I, I really like the way the lead ones and like the bronze ones look. Bronze ones are brown, lead are kind of black. Uh, silver ones are pretty nice looking, platinum, sterling silver look cool. But yeah, let's try these out. So, yeah, that is really nice. I like that a lot. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out where to put these these few that we have. <laughs> Maybe we'll put one by the sheep here. That kind of makes sense over there, right? It's not too bad. Lights up the, the area pretty good. And uh, this uh, workshop we built is super dark. Even during the day, so I definitely want to put a few in here. Um, maybe I'll just hang them out the front for right now. Does that look okay? Maybe we should just hang them from, from over here. Like that. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty good, right? I'm happy with that. We'll want to get a, at least two more inside here, though, because it's pretty dark still, <laughs> even with those in the front. Uh, so as soon as we can make a, a few more, we'll light it up here. But they are a nice addition, because I have to, like, constantly relight these torches. And if it's raining, it's just like, well, can't do anything. It's going to be dark. So it's, it's very nice to actually get some permanent light uh, around here. I've been using these uh, gems, but they... They look a little weird, right? <laughs> Not like a permanent solution, just like a temporary way of dealing with it. Mm -hmm. But anyways, it's probably about that time to wrap up the episode again. Thank you, Nuggets. Uh, Sniffers is full yellow hearts now. He loves me so much, which is pretty cool. We're going to have to keep feeding those sheep so that we can start sharing their wool. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I will see you again in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.